Hey, what's up, everybody? DCW Hawks here with me as always. Devin. And today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarland DC Multiverse Batman and Robin Connect to Build Mr. Freeze Wave. Let's check it out. All right, so now we got all the figures unboxed, which was a task in itself. You got like a million and five of these little plastic restraints from hell that make me angry and don't want to touch another figure as long as I live. Anyway, this is a Build-A-Figure Wave review, so we're going to be doing it a little differently. We're going to go through and look at each individual figure, articulation, accessories, all the good stuff that you come to see a figure review for. So first we're going to start off with Batman from Batman and Robin, the George Clooney Batman. Who the fuck is this? Oh, what the hell was that? What happened? I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Uh, here is the George Clooney Batman who already suffers from McFarlane's syndrome. And a uh, quick side note, if you want to see us do a review on that custom Pattinson Batman, uh, leave a like, comment, do the YouTube stuff. Yeah, all the YouTube things. So here we have Batman out of his package, and I gotta say, that is a very good Clooney likeness. Like, it's like a cartoon version of Clooney, but you can definitely see George Clooney in that. Yeah. Especially, like, just watched it the other day. Like, his eye holes seem like they're bigger than everybody else's, and they'd really captured it here. Musculature all looks good. Looks like he came straight out of 1997. He won't stand. I love McFarland figures, but this is something they gotta figure out. To be fair, they all come with stands that we don't ever use. Fine. Some assembly required. Stick this here and then you. Ugh. But now he's sideways. Anyway, he looks really good. Comic accurate, or comic accurate. Movie accurate. He's got this weird, like, it's a plastic cape, obviously, but it's this weird, soft, bendable material. It's kind of nice. I like it, but it leaves these, like, weird fingerprint-looking things on there. I don't know if you can, like, wipe them off with a wet wipe or something. And he's got bat nipples. Can't forget those. He comes with... Not very much, actually, which is kind of weird. As the uh, as foreseen little McFarland stand that you'll need. Yeah, but with a stand, he stands up just fine. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Comes with his data file. Pause if you'd like to read it. The figure stand. These cool little ice effects. Which are very nice. And then the legs for Mr. Freeze. So you can set them up, stand it right here. Tell he's going to be pretty good size. I'm going to go through his articulation real quick. Let's back up a little bit. His head. Thing. Can look up very well. This is really good for him, McCarlin. Which is funny though, because he shouldn't be able to look like that in the costume. You know, the cowl all being thick rubber. And down that much. Yet left, right, all the way around. Arms that go out just about to ninety. 
Got a rotator cuff here. Very, very good double jointed arms. Oh, that's the one thing I will notice or talk about. This is the only Batman that doesn't have like the three scallops. Just got like two little fins. Which was a very unique choice. I liked it. Then you got the McFarlane ball here that's sculpted. Back and forth. Rotate. Went down to the chest. It's got the diaphragm cut, which is. That bend is amazing for a McFarland. Yeah, Sue's got good articulation so far. Yeah. Back. Goes wow. back very far. You even get some gappage in there if you go too far. Legs. Kick out really well. And then back. Not so much because of the butt and the cape. So you swivel. Very slight swivel. Double jointed knees. And the ankles. Go down. And go up. Can rotate. Ankle rocker. And toe articulation. So this guy can get into all your bat poses you want. Well, most of them. Yep. But he can't stand, so is that a pose? Is standing a pose? He can stand with a stand. Can he? Oh god, I almost broke it. Yeah, you do it. You have to twist it in. Don't tell me. So yeah, he looks good. So far, so good. On to the next. Alright, next up, we have Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy. Let's just try it, see if we can get it. Nope, okay. Figure stand to the rescue. And first looks, just like George Clooney's Batman, I think this looks a lot like who it's supposed to look like. It's got a very good likeness to Uma Thurman. I see her card here. Maybe the hair could have been a little bit darker, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. Especially for a domestic, non imported $24, $25 figure. Yeah. Likeness is really there. I like it a lot. Two for two so far. Yeah. So far, so, so, far, so good. All right, let's go through our articulation real quick. And I'll tell you right now, you ain't going to get very much movement at all because of that aforementioned hair. It's nicely sculpted and it looks good. It looks accurate. She had really long hair. But you're not getting much out of it. Like, that's as far as you can turn right. As far as you can turn left. There's no looking up. Barely any looking down. Moving on. Her arms... Just about to a T-pose. She's got rotator cuffs. A nice little uh, bicep swivel right here at the sleeve. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's really cool. Double jointed elbows. Oh, look at that. Parallel. Wow. That's great articulation. Hands. Also on the McFarland joints, up and down, rotate, all the good stuff. One thing I will mention that I love about this figure is they didn't skip out on the little leaves she had in her hand. Yeah, that's cool. Try to focus it. I'm kind of surprised they didn't, honestly. Yeah, I mean, maybe they would have sculpted it and not painted it, 
but it's sculpted and painted. Speaking of sculpt, this little flower leaf suit thing she has is incredible. Yeah, that's really well sculpted, well painted. Looks great. It really does. Anyway, back to the articulation. She can bend forward, not too much, but back, it looks unnatural. Yeah. Legs split out. Kick forward. Wow. Pretty good amount. Double jointed knee. Almost parallel on that, too. Yeah. Sculpted boots, the ankle that far down. Very far up. Pivot. And. Uh, toe articulation. Her accessories, she doesn't come with much. I think she comes with the less, like the least amount out of anybody in this set. Um, I mean, it looks like it. We'll get to it later. All she comes with is her figure stand, which Devin just told me you twist in. I've always just been shoving them in. It's just a lot easier to twist them, I found. Yeah, it seems that way. Figure stand. Trading card. Bio. Pause to read it. And the chest and lower body of Mr. Freeze. See, to me that like design has always kind of made me think of Black Manta. Oh, like the on his chest, like Black Manta's eyes? Yeah, like right there looks like the top half of Black Manta's helmet to me. Yeah, I can see that. Well, so far we're two for two on this wave. Really digging it. On to the next. Come on, use your might, boy. It's not going yet. I think I heard it. good next up we have the Chris O'Donnell Robin oh look at that first, first try. try nice set him down he's good to go looking at him I love the costume except I never noticed it as I was a kid because I didn't read about Nightwing and all of that until later but this is a Nightwing costume Straight up Nightwing. Yeah, like 100% Nightwing. I think they did it because that was supposed to show him like trying to move away from Batman a yeah. little bit. Yeah, the whole, I want to be in your shadow anymore, blah, blah, blah. I'm my own man. Ivy says I need a Robin signal in the sky, blah, blah, blah. It's a very good point. And I think you're right, Devin. So looking at him, again, the likenesses are there. Yeah, that one looks good, too. Oh, I moved him, now he's not going to stand. Oh, there he goes. Look at his card, side by side. It's yeah. a little bit slimmer, but it's pretty good. Yeah. I think it's there. I like it. He's also got the same kind of cape that Batman does, but it's much smaller. Much more wind swept to the side, which I don't mind. It's not terrible. I dig it. One thing I do like too is the rotator cuff is all just red. So no matter where you move this, it kind of looks like it's continued from the original design on the chest, which is a pretty nice detail. Yeah, I like that. And Robin nipples. 
Who, when they were making this movie, well, actually, it was on, wasn't it in Batman Forever? Batman Forever had nipples, too. Yeah. Who thought that was a good idea? That's what I want to know. I mean, to be fair, Keaton's, like, the original one in that series was, like, musculature, and they were trying to go for, like, an anatomically correct suit. They just took it a bit too far with the other ones. I say, it didn't have nipples. Keaton never had bat nipples. Yeah, they just... Next movie is still a bit too far. Yeah, I'll say that. But, props to Todd for accuracy, I guess. And it made for some good jokes. Yeah, totally did. Alright, so let's go through his articulation. So far, he's got the best arm out. He goes above 90, or above a T-pose. Why did I skip his head? Jeez. That good-looking head can go left... And go right, spin all the way around, looking up. It's not terrible, not the best. Looking down. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yep, the arms T posed. I also mentioned earlier the rotator cuff, does all the rotator cuff things. And a bicep swivel. Did I say swivel? Yes. Cool. Another great double jointed arm. That's perfect. And you got the wrist, which is very nicely hidden by the length of those gauntlets. Yeah. But it spins and hinges up and down. Going to his torso. Diaphragm joint, which works really well. Bends forward. And not the greatest. Bends back a lot. And they continue the sculpt up through, which is very nice. They didn't have to do that. Yeah. I'm also glad that they did not continue the Nightwing logo any farther down. Yeah. Because then you would get weird, like, cuts. Yeah. So I think that's a good thing. Yeah, it's for, like, cuts right here. Like, it even hangs over a little bit. Yeah. Which is, that's pretty cool. I know some figures that he's done before has, like, some sort of design going down the middle. Yeah. And he continues it in the abdomen section as well, and when you turn it, it just looks horrible. Yeah, definitely. Legs split out very well. Kick forward. A little bit above 90. Super crunchy double-jointed knees, which work very well. Ankles go down, go up. Ankle rocker, toe articulation. Yeah. Yep. I'm not going to get a first try again on this one. That's where the accessories come in. First... A McFarlane display stand. You put it in there. There. Now he stands perfectly. They just look good. So far these have all been very good looking figures. Like I haven't had a problem with really anything so far. Yeah, so far they're three for three. And his data file, trading card. Pause it if you want to read it. And then his pieces for Mr. Freeze. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. I forgot. He also comes with these really cool ice effects, too. And you just kind of clip them on. Yeah, they sit on there real nice. Yeah, nice and tight. They're not going to go anywhere. You just put that one in there. See? They stick on there. I'll push that up a little bit more. See, it looks like he's trying to block himself. And instead, he ended up a frozen birdie popsicle. So that's how he's going to be the rest of the review. And he comes with the Mr. Freeze arms.
And so far, three for three. Let's see if Batgirl can make it a solid wave. Ah, the rotator cuff fell out. It'll be fine. Yeah, I heard it. I heard the pop. I also heard the pop. And there goes the camera. I got you. And there goes the figure. Yeah, this one's not. There yeah, we that's, go. That's the most satisfying sound in the world. Alright, so now we will move on to Alicia Silverstone's Batgirl. Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? Come on. Nope, not gonna do it. Which brings us to our first accessory again. And she's got little tiny peg holes right in her heels. Were Ivy's in her heels? I think so. I don't remember. They probably were. Bad girl. Oh, she's still falling over. And I'm going to say, out of the four, I think this likeness is the, like, the least like the actor. Yeah. Also, I just want to say that the hair is colored really good in person. On camera, it looks like straight yellow. Like yeah. banana peel yellow. And I don't know why. Maybe it's the lighting in here. I don't know. There is different shades in there. Maybe it's too dark. I don't know. In person, it looks like a really nice blonde color. Yeah, it's very nice. It's got highlights and all kinds of stuff. There's her actor. Actress. So... Yeah, like I said, she's not the not the best one for likeness, but she's still really nice. Go through our articulation real quick, just like with Poison Ivy. You're not going to get much movement out of the head, but you can move the hair around if you had to, but it just looks... Well, that doesn't look so bad. Yeah, hers doesn't look bad. I was messing around with Ivy off camera trying to see if you could do it. It just looked horrible. Yeah, like going back, you don't have any... Going down, you can do pretty good, but then you get, like, this weird floating hair situation. Yeah. Go right that far. Left that far. The arms. T-pose. Bicep swivel is there. Not as good of a double-jointed elbow as the rest of them. Still not terrible, though. And, uh, she's got the same McFarland hinge in the hand, swivel, down to the diaphragm. Very nice movement. She can crunch forward very well. Crunch back very well. She can do... Back row splits. Kick forward. Really good. Kick back. Also pretty good, but then you get this weird little situation going on there. Double jointed knees. And ankles that go down that much. Up that much and toe articulation. One thing I did forget to mention that these figures don't really have any accessories for themselves, except if you count the ice for Batman and Bat Robin. Batman and Robin. But she's got the display stand and her card. That's it. Oh, and I did forget to mention too. Both Batman, Robin, and Batgirl all just come with fists. Just two fists, which isn't bad. They don't have to hold anything, so... Yeah. Why not just let them be? 
Now, moving on to our other accessories that come with Poi or come with Batgirl, you have the shoulder pads for Mr. Freeze. They're like a really nice soft plastic, but we'll get to Mr. Freeze in a minute. His ice gun, which was sculpted very nicely, and the ice effect is removable, which is yep. cool. And you can take the ice out, and that's cast in like a translucent plastic. Yeah, it looks really nice. Give it to focus. Then towards the end, it becomes more solid, which is really cool. It almost looks like the water actually freezing itself. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then you just... There's a hole in the barrel, and you just plug it in. And lastly, she comes with Mr. Freeze's head, and that's we'll talk that we'll talk about that more in the Mr. Freeze review. So that covers the figures from the wave, except for the builder figure, and I like all of them. Yeah, I don't think any of these are an actual bad figure. I mean, I think, honestly, I think Batgirl's probably my least favorite, but... Still, I don't think it's bad. No, not at all. She's still a great figure. Yeah. Like I said, sculpted detail, wrinkles, everything. It's great. So now we're going to get on to Mr. Freeze. I'm not hearing a pop, but I think it's on. I think it's on there. It's very tight. It's just not like that Bane. You remember the first Bane? Yeah, the... Last Night on Earth Bane? Yeah, that's what that wave was. That was a cool Bane. Absolutely sucked putting together. Yeah. So we have Mr. Freeze all put together. And he looks great. Just absolutely all the detailing and the metal work and the sculpting. Everything on this guy is sculpted. You're not going to find any bit of plastic. As soon as I say that, you can see the tip of his boot doesn't have any right here by his toes. Right there. See? That's pl flat. But everything else has got detail. Like even the joints are sculpted. Not just clear or flat plastic under the knees. Down here, even Devin pointed out earlier, or off camera, the rotator cuffs are molded, detailed. Pretty, pretty good stuff here. And he's got some heft to him. And he doesn't need a stand. Look at that. Just... Those big feet. Probably he's yeah. So he probably he's got giant feet. I mean, he's pretty much got a built-in stand. Yeah. But he looks great. He absolutely does. Let's take a look at his head scan, or his face sculpt, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I definitely, definitely see a lot of Arnold in there. I like that a lot. I love the clear blue plastic for the helmet. I just wish that these parts, like this, would have had that same clear plastic. I don't know if they would have been able to do that. But if you like to repaint, this guy, this guy could use a repaint, but... Not necessary. Not necessary. Here's his card. Just giant on the back of the box. Yeah, I dig it. 
like just chrome everything. It'll be perfect. Ah, that's nice. It's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. How many bad dad jokes did Mr. Freeze have in that movie? So many. It was so funny. Oh, God. It's just... I, I love that movie. It's a terrible movie. This whole... Batman and Robin is the worst Batman movie ever made. Hands down. But... These figures are awesome. Perfect representation of what they put on screen. He's like... He sits there. He's like, Hey, Batman. Chill. Just all kinds of funny stuff like that. I loved it. Let's go through his articulation. Hey, we'll kill the dinosaurs. Dice Age. <laughs> <laughs> He's so terrible. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I gotta tell you though, when I was in what fourth grade when that movie came out, the greatest thing I did that summer. By far. Anyway. Head looks up a pretty good amount. Looks down. I gotta back him up a little bit. Not too bad, but not the greatest. I feel like it's decent. It's just because of those giant shoulder plates. It doesn't look like it's much. Yeah, that's true. If you look at it from like this angle, it looks like he's looking down. But here, it doesn't look like it so much. Or like just try... Yeah, see, now he looks like he's looking down. Yeah. It's those shoulder pads or whatever. Yeah, extra armor. Speaking of those, they do not hinder articulation because they're on swivels. So they just go up. He's got a T-pose. Not too terrible. And those are a very soft material. Yeah. No bicep cut. But he does have an elbow cut. So that's not terrible. That's Single weird. jointed elbow. It even looks like they sculpted an area for the bicep cut, like, right here. Because there's, like, that line all the way around. But they just didn't do it. That's part of the armor. Like, he's got the undersuit right here, and then the armor comes up right there. Well, yeah, but I'm saying, like, just they the way that it looks, right they could have easily... Yeah, they could have. Then you got your McFarland wrist hinges here, which are very nicely hidden. Yeah. You gotta go in. You gotta turn it though. Hand rotates. Now down to his diaphragm. Great, like, twisty movement. Not so much forward. But with a big, bulky character like this in armor, you're not gonna get, you know, an acrobatic Mr. Freeze. See, so crunching forward. Like that. Back. Pretty good back, though. Yeah. Legs. Full split. So can kick forward. Very high. Single jointed knee. Let me sh Yep. It rotates right there. Ankles go that far down. Jesus. Ow! That high up. And break your foot in half. And toe articulation. You will get this kind of stuff. Like it gets bunched up if you move it too much. Oh god, knock the camera over. Yeah, you're doing what I did. Yep, you just gotta read. Just move it around a little bit. Oh. Readjust it a little, big deal. Yeah. Just don't leave it like that or it'll warp Yeah, it'll eventually. warp the plastic. So let's, let's bring everybody in. Get all this stuff off everybody. This is going to be our size comparison. We're going to compare them to each other. Got Robin. Poison Ivy. Batgirl. Batman. A 
WWE Elite CM Punk. Oh, wait, Robin's getting cast out here. Come on, Robin, get in there. Yeah, good enough. And, as always, Marvel Legends. So I think it was a pretty, pretty solid wave. Yeah. I can't put punk anywhere without getting somebody's way. You go over here. I love you, Batman. I love you. I'd give the wave an eight out of ten. Maybe even a nine. I don't really have any huge flaws. Yeah, I mean. Every figure you're going to have your gripes with, but that's just to be expected. Honestly, I think my biggest, like, problem... Well, I have one problem with this wave and one problem with Todd's Build-A-Figs in general. The problem with this wave is her head. Because you cannot move it. I mean, you can. It just doesn't look right. Yeah. And I don't like... Just his build of figs in general, how they don't come with a card for the build of fig. Yeah. I mean, you could cut out the back of the box, but it's not the same. No. Especially this one would have been perfect because it has like the movie poster and you could overlap them, but you're missing freeze. So it just doesn't look right. Then yeah. they don't come with a, a figure stand. What if you need one? Not too, yeah. I mean, you collect McFarland's, you got an extra stand laying around. Hell, I got like, or 30. Yeah, I got 30 of them just all throughout my house. I found one upstairs in the bathroom the other day. Like, why? Why is this here? Well, anyway, this has been a longer review, but I appreciate each and every one of you sticking around and watching. Whoever does, thank you. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Do all the YouTube things. This has been DCW Hawks with me as always. Devin. And we will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Like